One of the things that I enjoy more than anything else is learning new things. Getting curious about something and diving in and fiddling around and learning through trial and error and eventually becoming pretty good at something. And so I'm a big geek. I want to keep learning things. I want to keep growing. And so what I decided to do was go to the library and go to the bookstore and look at what research says about how we learn and how we learn quickly. And I read a bunch of books, I read a bunch of websites, and trying to answer this question, how long does it take to acquire a new skill? You know what I found? 10,000 hours. But that's not true. So 10,000 hours, just to give you a rough order of magnitude, 10,000 hours is a full-time job for five years. That's a long time. And we've all had the experience of learning something new and it didn't take us anywhere close to that amount of time, right? So what's up? There's, there's something kind of funky going on here. What the research says and, and what we expect and have experiences, they, they don't match up. And what I found, here's the wrinkle. The 10,000 hour rule came out of studies of expert level performance. Professional athletes, world-class musicians, chess grandmasters, all of these ultra competitive folks in ultra high performing fields, it takes 10,000 hours to get to the top of an ultra competitive field in a very narrow subject. That's what that means. This is the learning curve. And the story of the learning curve is when you start, you're grossly incompetent and you know it. With a little bit of practice, you get really good really quick. So that early uh, level of improvement is really fast. And then at a certain point, you reach a plateau and the subsequent gains become much harder to get. They take more time to, to, to get. Now, my question is, I want that, right? How long does it take from starting something and being grossly incompetent and knowing it to being reasonably good in hopefully as short a period of time as possible? So, how long does that take? Here's what my research says. 20 hours. That's it. You can go from knowing nothing about any skill that you can think of. Want to learn a language? Want to learn how to draw? Want to learn how to juggle flaming chainsaws? If you put 20 hours of focused, deliberate practice into that thing, you will be astounded, astounded at how good you are. 20 hours is doable. That's about 45 minutes a day for about a month, even skipping a couple days here and there. 20 hours isn't that hard to accumulate. Now, there's a method to doing this because it's not like you can just start fiddling around for about 20 hours and expect these massive improvements. There's a way to practice intelligently. There's a way to practice efficiently that will make sure that you invest those 20 hours in the most effective way that you possibly can. And here's the method, it applies to anything. The first is to deconstruct the skill. Decide exactly what you want to be able to do when you're done, and then look into the skill and break it down into smaller and smaller pieces. Most of the things that we think of as skills are actually big bundles of skills that, that require all sorts of different things. The more you can break apart the skill, the more you're able to decide what are the parts of this skill that will actually help me get to what I want, and then you can practice those first. And if you practice the most important things first, you'll be able to improve your performance in the least amount of time possible. The second is learn enough to self-correct. So get three to five resources about what it is you're trying to learn. Could be books, could be DVDs, could be courses, could be anything. But don't use those as a, as a way to procrastinate on practice. I, I, I know I do this, right? Get like 20 books about the topic. It's like, I'm gonna start learning how to program a computer when I complete these 20 books. No, that's procrastination. What you want to do is learn just enough that you can actually practice and self-correct or self-edit as you practice. So the learning becomes a way of getting better 
at noticing when you're making a mistake and then doing something a little different. The third is to remove barriers to practice. Distractions, television, internet, all of these things that get in the way of you actually sitting down and doing the work. And the more you're able to use just a little bit of willpower to remove the distractions that are keeping you from practicing, the more like you, li likely you are to actually sit down and practice, right? And the fourth is to practice for at least 20 hours. Now, most skills have what I call a frustration barrier. You know, the grossly incompetent knowing it part. That's really, really frustrating. We don't like to feel stupid. And feeling stupid is a barrier to us actually sitting down and doing the work. So by pre-committing to practicing whatever it is that you want to do for at least 20 hours, you will be able to overcome that initial frustration barrier and stick with the practice long enough to actually reap the rewards. All right, that's it. It's not rocket science. Four very simple steps that you can use to learn anything. And so it's amazing, pretty much anything that you can think of. What do you want to do? The major barrier to learning something new is not intellectual. It's not the process of you learning a bunch of little tips or tricks or things. The major barrier is emotional. We're scared. Feeling stupid doesn't feel good. In the beginning of learning anything new, you feel really stupid. So the major barrier is not intellectual, it's emotional. But put 20 hours into anything. Doesn't matter, what do you want to learn? What turns you on? What lights you up? Go out and do that thing. It only takes 20 hours. Have fun.